Hi, I'm Joe Bosco, the expert teacher of putting, short game, and playing lessons out at the Glen Club in Glenview, Illinois. So many amateur players struggle in greenside bunkers. I'm here to help you become a more confident bunker player. First off, our point of view and attitude may need to change. If we have been fearful or hoping to just get the ball out or hoping not to skull one, it's time to consider a new way of thinking and acting. Mindset thoughts. A sand wedge is designed and hopefully fitted for you to be used as a splashing tool, not a scooping tool. Second thought, learning to splash sand with the bottom of the club, the sole or the bounce, is the true secret to successful greenside bunker skills. Okay, here are a few steps we can take into the sand. The wood chop motion. Set up in a bunker, and as I demonstrate, observe how I simply begin using my wrists and elbows in a hinging up and down manner. See how the club head travels from the sand straight up towards my shoulder. Mostly, it is my wrists and elbows giving slightly. Then I unhinge and splash the sand with the club's sole or bounce, and then rehinge it again. Notice how the sand splashed up. Start slowly and pay close attention to the handle of the club as I splash. At the top of my backswing for this shot, my hands and the handle of the club are waist or underarm height. They didn't move very far, did they? but the club head has moved from a dress to over my shoulder. In order to get the club head to go fast enough to splash the heavy sand, I want the club head to move fast, not the handle. Notice too, the follow through is simply my turn with a small amount of wrist rehinge, rather than some big arm dominated wraparound high finish follow through. I have been known to say that if you hit the ball with your follow through, it's a two-shot penalty. Let's get ready to splash some sand with the ball. Set up like before, just widening your feet to shoulder width now. I prefer you lean your balance and weight towards the target and keep it there as you turn back. Some of you may say, that's a reverse pivot. It is just a one-sided pivot. There's no reversing here. A few final things. Most scald shots and the club getting stuck in too much sand are a result of swinging the handle ahead of the club head as the club is swinging down through impact. To remedy this, a great image is as follows. If the butt end of the club is pointing to your belly button as the club head is splashing, you will be splashing properly. Another important action is to keep your torso and hips turning through the shot. A final note. Notice how soft and relaxed my arms and finish really are. If your arms are stiff and they have lifted, you will struggle in the sand. Tension in your hands, arms, and shoulders must be eliminated. Take some time with these uncommon sand drills and concepts, and you'll be on your way to more success on the beach. For Crane Chicago Business, I'm Joe Bosco at the Glen Club.